Hi, I'm Jim McLaughlin. I'm an industrial hygienist. I want to talk a little bit about the Centers for Disease Control Prevention's recommendation on wearing a mask while going out shopping uh, to the grocery stores, pharmacies, and so on, and the importance of having a barrier between yourself and the public. Uh, the uh, shift in, in their recommendations is from the, the recognition that there are many carriers of uh, the virus for COVID-19 who are asymptomatic and may be spreaders of this disease, and we need to be able to prevent that from happening. So I may look totally fine to you right now, but maybe a couple days from now, if I have the disease, be able to show the symptoms, but not know it. So by wearing the mask, I'm protecting you. And if you wear the mask, you're protecting me. So I'm a visual learner and I'm using a thing called GlowGerm, uh, which is basically um, a, uh, a liquid uh, lotion uh, that's for training uh, purpose of antiseptic techniques. And I've used it in this demonstration to help you visualize um, how the um, droplets, particles from talking, from coughing, sneezing, and so on can cap be captured by the mask uh, and not spread. So I'm gonna put this on real quickly. Get ready to go shopping. Notice that uh, I'm also wearing gloves uh, in this instance right here because it just makes it much easier for me to take these off when I come back home. So I'm out, I'm doing uh, my thing. As you can see, I'm talking and so on, but as I'm talking, the moisture that comes out of my mouth, the viruses will attach to those droplets and that's how it gets spread. And that's why they want that six foot uh, distance between people, but with a mask, uh, it helps a great deal in terms of not being able to spread the virus this way. So as I'm talking, it, <coughs> excuse me, so let's say I sneeze like that, or my nose is running, all that moisture containing millions of viruses are now contained within this mask. And to be able to show you that, I'll take the mask off and I'll use my little black light, uh, which is, uses a UV uh, wavelength uh, that's specific uh, for the, the lotion of the glow germ. And you can see around my eyes here, uh, my nose, uh, and around the mouth um, that the glow germ has been illuminated here. And this simulates what the viruses uh, may look like uh, that would be contained in your droplets, sneezing, and so on. And if I flip it over, you can see that there is you know, very little, if any at all, uh, penetration through the mask uh, to s spread to other people. The key is, with this particular demonstration that the masks do work and it validates the policy that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention uh, made, where they were saying, don't wear it before you don't need it. Now they know that people can be asymptomatic. That's why they call it the Goldilocks virus, to be able to spread this from person to person. You could be totally fine today and three or four days uh, from now, you may be very symptomatic, maybe even on a ventilator within a week's time. By wearing this mask, you not only are protecting others, but others wearing the mask can protect you. Let's get this thing done uh, and do it well. Uh, and also just a little shout out to my fellow industrial hygienist, a uh, little quote that I like to do, uh, because we, our passion, our focus is protecting those in the workplace. We have you COVID, thank you.